Beautiful morning here again in the Lake District. Going over that direction, up that valley to the left. Be a bit cooler on top. They're joining the route here. Couldn't start from Hartsop, car park was full. This ride's not too long, about 19 miles, but uh, 11, 1200 metres of ascent. Most of that will be to start with, all the way up onto high speed. Off road now, easy start to uh, where we're going. Nice and warm today. Settled, no wind, or very little wind. Probably a bit on the top, but. I think the human motor is going to give out before the electric motor. Find a new way of getting over this problem. Getting started on an e-bike on a steep hill. You can start off in a lower power mode, quickly jump it up. Brief interlude putting the chain back on, should not have jumped off, gears need adjusting. So we got some uh, other mountain bikers following us up, oh boy here we go. Uh-oh. There you go. Whoa. Oh, I did a walk assist here. It's just too complex. Somewhere in the background is Hell Valley. And then up there, I think that's the High Street Ridge. It goes all the way along. So that's the height we've got to get to. I can see a mountain biker up there in the distance walking and this looks pretty steep that's probably one in three in places at least one in four he's doing good he's doing very good i don't know if i'll do any better Great view, brutal climb, even though the track we're on. Well, I think I'm tempted to mark this as never again. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's brutal. Yeah, it's a lot, a lot of walking. Could be rideable in a minute. Oh. 
Oh. Motorway. It's uh, 730 meters elevation. Have to make a decision here to uh, whether to go on to Summit High Street or follow the route which goes to the left. So we decided not to go to the summit of High Street today, which is where you can see there we've got to drop, climb again, we're going to stick to the route. Wrong gear. The panorama here is another mountain biker in front. We're on the, the ridge now and uh, heading down to Lodebot Hill. You can see plenty of people over there on that rip tip. Hawes Water. So that's probably the Gates Carth Pass over there, I would think. And Nan Beald is probably that one over there. A bit cooler up here, this height. Missed the turning again. Oh, that was so easy to miss. Oh, this is it, according to the map. Not very well defined. Ah! Uh, I think this is Load Pot Hill and yeah. we're about to leave it and head into the distance on that track. Yeah, it's got to be that way. I think you're right. That's better. We went down the wrong ridge. Oh. Well, it's a bit deceptive this because uh, you're whipping along and then there's suddenly a deep gully and uh, you could go over the handlebars quite easily. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Miles oh, away. So, uh, one more down and up. Got a feeling that this is low pot hill. Aha! Aha! Yeah, there's a lot of uh, tracks going off in all directions up here and uh, very easy to take the wrong one trust in the uh, route plan on the GPS on and on
So, where are we? Where's the landmarks? That could be Penrith. And uh, the Pennines in the distance. A lot, a lot of wild moorland. We're just going to have a look at this stone circle. Before we backtrack on our descent back, back this way. Popular spot. We've just had lunch at the Stone Circle. A nice little stopping point. Can't remember the official name. Definite landmark up here in the middle of nowhere. And now we're going to continue on this nice descent down to Howtown. So this is the uh, descent that they like in the guidebooks. and gentle to begin with. Great views over Oldswater. Yes, that was good. That was a blast.
bit murky but nice view of the big kink in the lake of Oz water pretty calm out there today So smooth after uh, what we've been on that climb. Yeah, this track really lives up to its reputation. Every bit as good as they say. So we won't stop at Harrytown as the time is getting on. And uh, we've got a bit to go yet, including uh, one last proper climb and a steep descent. Caught back in the wrong gear. Just have to stand on it. So we got a nice little track up here, but uh, we're getting battery anxiety because we got a bit of climbing to do. See if I can point out we're at Bordale Head and we're going up there and the track goes up the right hand side and it looks pretty steep right near the very top. Yeah, I hope this shows up this track and see where it gets steeper. Good thing is it's smooth for how long? These ascents always look so different from the aspect you're looking from and
pretty kind of perfect volley this u-shaped can't even see just can't see how steep this is camera's horizontal horrendous came up here last time I think there's a bit of orc assist pretty damn steep so I just feel it I think it feels too slurpy if you get off and walk in it so if the front wheel starts slipping that's a work from the problem not mind the back door slipping. I think we're kind of just about doing it on the steepest section. Way, way back over the back wheel. Front wheel going there a bit. Steady, steady. So loose stuff makes it complicated. Hi, thank you. It's a bit tricky this. We're over the steepest now. Yeah, I think it's felt so it's on the limit with the front wheel wear. All that loose stuff, it's right when you're on the green. this Challenging little climb going the other way. Got to get down the corner. Yes. survived Phew That was harder than expected Cracking descent at the end But those two climbs 
Oh, killer. Oh, we're coming back to Bridge End now. I'm uh, gonna need a coffee on the way home. 